Hey everybody, so this is going to be my beauty favorites for all of 2014 and I'm a little bit late on this. It's now the end of January. I'm hoping to get this up by the end of January, but with uh, moving and going to Mexico, it's been a little bit crazy. I did want to film this in Mexico actually, but I just ran out of time. So I have gone through my makeup collection and compiled the things that I've reached for the most over 2014. I did this video back in 2013, possibly 2012. I'll link them down below in case you want to check them out and see what's different and what's the same. Some things are the same and that some things have changed. But yeah, I'm just going to start kind of in order of how I would do my face. So the first would be a primer. My all-time favorite primer is the Professional by Benefit. And I've never bought in the big one. I keep buying these sample ones. I need to buy the big one. Amazing. Fills in your pores. Makes your makeup last forever. Uh, keeps me from getting shiny. It's just a really great texture and I just... I love it. So that's the primer. And then I have two BB creams. One that I've used the majority of the year, um, either on its own or mixed with the foundation, which I like to do a lot, is the Garnier BB Cream Light to Medium Combination to Oily Skin. One thing I dislike about this is the packaging because it leaks like crazy, especially if you travel with it. But it's very light consistency BB cream with still pretty good coverage. It doesn't get shiny, it mixes really well with other foundations and it doesn't, like it holds up well on your skin and it doesn't go patchy. So it's just like a good solid BB cream and it's drugstore prices. A new one to me, I've only had it about two and a half months now, so only like six weeks into 2014, but I'm going to mention it anyways. It's a CC cream by Supergoop. I've actually recorded a whole separate review on this that I'll probably be putting up after this video. Um, so look out for that review because I talk all about this and why it's so amazing. And then a foundation. Um, I've tried lots of foundations, but to be honest, the one I've used the most is by CoverGirl. It's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 in 1. I have this in three different shades, depending on what color I tend to be. It works well on its own, but I like to mix it with a BB cream because I just feel like it blends better and um, looks a little bit more natural. And I don't know, color matches me well, holds up well, doesn't go oily. The same reason I love my BB creams, I love that foundation. Concealers. The number one concealer in 2014 for me was the MAC Pro Longwear. The reason being, it has really good coverage, it's thin consistency, and it doesn't crease as much as most other concealers under my eyes because I have a lot of fine lines. So I absolutely love this. Pretty pricey, but I love it. And I need to mention a second one, even though I've only had it like the last month of 2014. It came in a um, Ipsy bag, I believe, and it's by It, it Cosmetics, and it's the Bye Bye Under Eye. My shade's slightly too dark when I'm not tan, but I've been tan these past couple of weeks, so I've been using it like crazy, and it's very similar to the MAC one. A little bit thicker in consistency, but blends out super smooth. I'm wearing it right now, um, and it I would say it almost creases less than the MAC one, and it has amazing coverage, so I'm going to have to go get this in my pale shade, because this one's a winner for sure. Okay, powder. If you watch my channel, you can probably guess my favorite powder is by NARS. It's the Trist Tristel. Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder. My second one this year, and I've already hit pen. Um, the brown stuff around the edges is just when I use brushes that have bronzer on it, I think, or my foundation going back and forth between the two. It still works the same regardless. This is the most amazing powder ever. No matter if you're tan or not, it works with every skin shade because it's translucent. It mattifies and sets your skin and makes it hold all day and leaves you with this really pretty like glow to your skin. So I think I'll be buying that for a long, long time to come. And then my favorite bronzer, there were a few I used this year, but if I had to pick, it again would be from NARS. And this is a duo, but this is the bronzer in Laguna. This is the one over here. I feel like that looks better when I have a tan or a bit of color in my face, but I can use it pale as well. And I can use it to contour and I can use it all over my face. So it's got a bit of shimmer in it, but I can still use it to contour. I'm wearing it today and I don't know, I just like the way it looks on my skin. And then along with that, one of my favorite blushes solely for the color is Orgasm. I got that about halfway through the year and it's the prettiest coral and like gold fleck blush and um, I'm wearing that on my cheeks as well today and it's just a really gorgeous blush. Second blush that I wanted to mention, honestly I could mention like 20 blushes because I love blush and I have lots that I love but I narrowed it down to two. The Orgasm for the color and this one's from the Balm, it's the Instain blush 
I like this because it's so long lasting. It's a powder, but it stains your cheeks. So if I know I'm gonna need makeup on for all day long, all day, I will reach for this. It's just a pretty pink color and it stains your cheeks. It's perfect. Highlighters, I did try a number of highlighters this year, but I'm still back to my same favorite, I believe as last year. It's from Lorac. It's the Perfectly Lit Spotlight. It's just a sample, but I mean, this thing will go forever and ever and ever. I don't think I'll ever need to purchase the big one because you just need the tiny bit. It gives you the prettiest glow. You gotta make sure you don't use too much though, because it's quite potent, but it's a beautiful like candlelit glow and I love the color of it. Okay, eyebrows. Been through lots of products, but by far my favorite eyebrow product, and again, I've only had it like the last two months of the year, but I know it's my favorite. It's by Anastasia, and it's the Dip Brow Pomade. And the color I have is taupe, so it comes in this little container like this, and you use an angled brush, you stick it in there very much like a gel eyeliner, and you kind of paint on your eyebrows. And basically it tints your eyebrows and holds them in place at the same time, and it's just, I don't know, two steps in one, it's a beautiful color, it's easy, it's fast, it holds up all day, it's fantastic. And this jar is gonna last forever because there is so much in here, unless it dries out, it's gonna last me years and years and years. What's next? Um, eyeshadow, I guess. I, I like cream eyeshadows a lot. One I've been using quite consistently is by Mary Kay and it's the color Apricot Twist. It's a cream eyeshadow. I think I like it mostly for the color. But um, these don't crease, they hold up well, and they blend well, so they're fantastic. And another cream eyeshadow I've been loving a lot this year is from Sephora. It's the Jumbo Eye Crayons. Um, again, same reason I love the Mary Kay one. They are pigmented, they don't crease, they blend well, and they hold up all day. So those two. And then if I had to pick one palette, like eyeshadow palette, it would definitely be Meet, Meet Matte Nude by The Balm. So I've been loving matte eyeshadow a lot this year. Specifically Matte Sing, Matte Hung, and Matte Rosen right here. Those are the ones I've been using a lot. So that's been a winner. Eyeliners, uh, definitely the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I went through, these last a while, I think I went through two, possibly three this year, and I use them almost every single day, and they're just like a, like a pen, you just draw it on, and I'm wearing it right now, and it gives you a nice fine tip, and it's easy to use. But if I want to put something in my waterline, or I want to smudge out an eyeliner, I've still been loving the Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner from L'Oreal. And I've had this for years. I still don't think I've ever had to sharpen it, because it's one of those jumbo ones. Um, it holds up in the waterline, it doesn't bleed out, and uh, it holds up well if you smudge it. Overall, just good eyeliner. Um, Mascara, I went through so many of these this year. This is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Mascara. Really inexpensive one from Walgreens in the US. Um, it's a bristle brush and it just gives you volume and length and it holds up and it's just like a solid, good mascara that I like. The second one is from CoverGirl. It's the Clump Crusher and um, it's in waterproof. And I only use this for my bottom lashes because it puts down the most fine amount on my bottom lashes and it's waterproof so it doesn't smudge anywhere so it's definitely been a holy grail we are almost at the end uh lip products if i had to pick a lip liner it'd be the um urban decay 24 7 glide on lip pencil these are very creamy very pigmented and they last a really long time and the color of this is native i use this more in the summer it's like a baby pink really pretty and then a gloss i've been loving is from Maybelline. It's the one in Nude. What is the actual color? It's, these are the elixirs in Nude Illusion. I'm wearing it right now. It. These are just, the brush is so plush and the formula is so soft and pigmented and I don't know, just so smooth. I love these to death. And then I just realized I forgot to grab my last favorite because it's in my purse because I use it all the time, but it's the Bite Beauty um, lip pencils, I have the one in Cira, and I use that almost every single day. So that is definitely a third favorite, but I left it downstairs. And then the last product is a setting spray. I'm still loving the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is something, again, I only use for those days that are special occasions or where I know I need my makeup to hold up like 
12 hours and this will definitely set it in place and lock it in and it's amazing. So yeah, those are my favorite products for 2014. Let me know what yours are down in a comment below and I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. Bye.